Let's divide some monomials. And remember, a monomial is just something that looks like number, letter to the number. So 8b to the 9. So we're dividing one over the other. So we basically separate out the numbers, try to simplify them. In this case, we can't. 8 over 5. And over here, we have b of the ninth over b, which was a separate lesson, I think, where you just do 9 minus 1. So that's b to the eighth. And you put these together. So you get 8 fifths times b to the eighth. But we can also put this as an improper fraction, right? We can write this as 5 fifths. And then there are three-fifths left over. So this is one and three-fifths times b to the eighth. Okay, so how about this? We've got eight-thirds, which we'll write as an improper fraction, right? So that's the same as 6 thirds plus 2 thirds. And the 6 thirds is just 2 and 2 thirds. So that's the number part. And then this is k to the 2 minus 9. So that's k to the negative 7. So 2 and 2 thirds, k to the negative 7. Okay, how about this? Five sevenths, and this is going to be m to the eight minus one, or m to the seven. So, five sevenths, m to the seven. Easy one, no improper fractions there. Okay, no improper fractions here either because two over six, is just 1 over 3. And b to the fifth over v, well, I wasted time there. You already knew that. It's v to the 5. This is a v to the 1, right? So this equals v to the 4. So we have 1 third v to the 4th power. Okay, so let's take this. We have 4 thirds, which is equal to 3 thirds plus 1 third. And this 3 thirds is 1, so we have 1 and a third. I'm getting better at writing on these screens, kids. So it's, uh, it's getting fun. This is i to the 7. Handwriting used to be way worse. Minus 6. So this is i to the 1. Or just i. So we have 1 and 1 thirds i. Okay. Now don't get tricked. These are just the letter o. They're not zeros. So this is o to the 9 minus 2. O to the 7, and this is 9 tenths. So we have 9 tenths O to the 7. Okay, how about this? Well, there's no, there's no, there's nothing on the bottom, so it's just 8. If you like, you can also put a secret 1 there and make it 8 over 1, but eh, it's just 8. And then this is g to the 3 minus 5. So this is g to the negative second. So we have 8 times g to the negative second. Okay. How about this? So 4 tenths. This is a proper fraction. 
they have all these expectations for fractions. The denominator should be bigger. 4 over 10, if you were a fraction, would you be proper or improper? 2 divided by 5. How about this? This is r to the third minus 6. 6. So this is r to the negative 3. So we have 2 fifths r to the negative 3. Okay, how about this? We have 8 divided by 2, which is 4. And then we have w. This is a, there's a 1 here, right? w is w to the first power, so w to the 1 minus 9, which gives us w to the negative 8. So we have 4 w to the negative 8. And finally, we have 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And we have a to the 9 minus 8 equals a to the 1, or just a. So you could write this as just a. And I like that math games gave you just no 1 there, right, to make you realize that a to the 1 is just a. Right, so we have 3 to the a. Okay, well, you study monomials so that you can get to polynomials, so that you can get to more complicated functions. Just like you started with the number 1 and then 2 and then you got to fractions, you'll do the same thing with math when you explore more, more complicated phenomena. So just be patient and I'll see you next time.